Franklin, thank you. And we want to get back now to that breaking news in Chattanooga. Six children, Dan Kennedy is now telling us, killed in that school bus crash yesterday afternoon. The driver is now facing serious charges. A press conference with Hamilton County Schools interim superintendent, and Dr. Kirk Kelly, is getting underway right now. We're going to listen in. For, for our school system, let me start by saying we are heartbroken for all of our students and their families. Yesterday was the worst day that we have had for Woodmore and for Hamilton County Schools that I can recall in my life as an educator and as a parent and as a member of this community. Our concerns today is for the children that we have lost and for their families and for the children who have been injured, for the students and the staff here at Woodmore. For the students and staff, we're going to do everything we possibly can to help them get through this time and address their emotional issues. Here at the school, we're open because we want to reach out to the community and help those that are coming in. We have extra counselors on site um, here at the school, and anyone who is impacted by this um, horrible tragedy, we're going to work with them and do whatever we can to help them. There are still some unanswered questions at this time, but our priority remain with our students. We're doing everything that we can to help the, the students through this time. We had 37 students that were involved. We have 32 that are accounted for. We have five confirmed deaths. We have of those deaths, three were in the fourth grade, one was a kindergartner, and one was a first grader. We have six that are in ICU, and we have six that are in regular rooms. The other students have been released to their parents and they're at home, and we are praying for them and wishing them the best. We ask everyone in Hamilton County to join us in our efforts to heal from this terrible, terrible situation. And let me say this, um, being on the scene yesterday, I want to say thanks, first of all, to our first responders, for law enforcement, to our educators, to school board members and community members, and everybody who has reached out to help us and has uh, contacted us from all across the um, United States uh, showing support. We're grateful for that. We understand that the district attorney has brought charges against the uh, Durham bus driver. We will, of course, as a school system, cooperate fully with the DA and every law enforcement agency that is involved in this investigation. We know that Durham, the bus service that we contract to, will do everything that it can to also work with law enforcement. Also, we're working with the United Way of Chattanooga to set up a funding site um, which we will provide additional detail to help the family. Let me say this, that our thoughts and our prayers are with the students and the family of Woodmore, and again, we're reaching out to do all that we can to help and support them. The grades for the deceased are three that are in the fourth grade, one that is in kindergarten, and one that is in the first grade. I think it's one boy and four, four girls. I, I do not want to because um, out of respect for the uh, family right now, uh, give, give the names because we would love to have the family and people reach out for them as opposed to having the names be um, given to them through the media. So I do not want to give the names. I know you said you decided to stay open um, because you wanted to offer support, but was there any consideration for closing school and allowing people to grieve uh, their if they're uh, wanting to stay out, we're going to excuse it. We're going to allow them to grieve. Those who want to come to school, uh, we're here to reach out and help. So we're going to help either way that we can. Uh, we feel that we were able to provide more services by having those that are able to make it to the school by having the extra counselors and extra support here at the school. So that was the reason for having uh, school open. So we're going to try to help either way that we can. Right now it is early, but we're in planning and we're going to do anything that we can to um, remember these students and support them and they will always be with us uh, throughout our lives. Uh, this is something that we would never forget here as a community. Uh, what I saw at the scene was um, very, very tough. Um, very tough for me, very tough for first uh, responders uh, when we arrived on the scene. And uh, from this location, we're probably about a mile and a half from where the scene was. Um, but people were doing everything that they could to assist students 
Uh, we had injuries. We had some students that um, actually were able to be mobile but still had injuries, and so we were providing as much support as possible. And again, I want to thank everybody who was out there to, to help. Uh, and that was even community members and especially our first responders. Can you tell us about the bus driver? I can say that it is under investigation, and I can say that the DA plans to uh, press charges. And at this point right now, that is all that I can say. But as we get more information, we will be releasing that to you. Can you tell us how long you've been driving? Um, he, we contract out with uh, Durham Bus Services, and we will uh, get that information to you um, in terms of exactly how, when he started. But um, right now, I can simply say that he is being investigated by the DA. Is he a county employee or a Durham employee? He's a Durham employee. Have all the children been with their families? All of the children have been, um, are, have been um, it, they're with their families, um, and families have, have been notified. And as, as we said, uh, we still have um, six that are in ICU. We have six that are still in the hospital. Uh, the rest are with their families. And, of course, we, um, our hearts go out to the uh, five that are deceased. What was the process notifying the families when the bus crash happened? The process was to call and also to provide assistance as we were there on the scene and to do everything that we could to uh, <coughs> notify them. Um, the administration, uh, the school principal, assistant principal, teachers and uh, were on the scene and we were doing all that we could. Also, we had people from our district office that it was uh, helping and supporting um, with trying to make calls and get in touch with people. All right, guys, we need to clear this area for buses, so we're going to have to put an end to the questions now. I do have a press release, though, for anyone who wants a copy. It, it is just, it's the toughest thing that you will ever do in your life. And, and, and there are no words that you can say, but let me say that our hearts are this out, going out with the families. This is the toughest thing that you can do, and hopefully with time, but this is something that you would never get over with, but we're just reaching out and trying to do whatever we could in terms of words of comfort and support to the families. And that's something that we will do from now um, going forward. All right, and now I'm going to introduce Chattanooga Mayor Andy Burke, A-N-D-Y-B-E-R-K-E. Thank you. Five is a cursed number in our city right now. And so we are again dealing with unimaginable loss. Um, as Dr. Kelly said, uh, out at the scene yesterday, our first responders did a magnificent job. We want to thank the Chattanooga Police Department, the Fire Department, Hamilton County EMS. Uh, they did amazing work under very, very difficult circumstances. Uh, for those who were out there watching it, it was teamwork at its best. Um, the most unnatural thing in the world is for a parent to mourn the loss of a child. There are no words uh, that can bring comfort to a mother or a father. And so today, a uh, city is praying for these families. Thank you all. All right, that was Mayor Andy Burke right there at Chattanooga, along with the uh, interim superintendent, Dr. Kirk Kelly. We heard from both of those individuals. And, of course, um, Dr. Kelly was saying that this is the worst day in Hamilton County school history, calling it a terrible, terrible day. There mm -hmm. are no words. And we want to uh, let you know Dan Kennedy, a uh, News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy, is there live in Chattanooga this morning. And uh, he's been covering this story uh, from the beginning. And he will have a live update for us in just a moment. Yeah, confirming five of them dead. Three fourth graders, one kindergarten child, and one first grader. Those are the deceased. Twenty of those children have gone home. Twelve still in the hospital this morning. We'll be hearing from Dan. And, of course, we'll continue to cover this latest development. Anything coming out of Chattanooga this morning. Another live report from Dan coming your way in about 20 minutes at 6.30 this morning.